library. You need to be a current HCC student. You need to have a, uh, have a student ID. are available whenever uh, the library is open. Monday, Thursday, 7.30 to 9, Friday, 7.30 to 4, Saturdays, 9 to 3. How would you find, how would you help students find a specific uh, library? You go to the library, HCC library webpage, uh, library.hccs.edu, you can go to the library catalog from there. And at that point, um, you could um, search by title, you could search by the author name, just search for books on a particular topic. You can search that way as well. Open at seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, usually, we'll hear from Monday through Wednesday from seven to eight p.m. at night. On Thursdays from seven to seven p.m. On Fridays from seven until four. Okay. In the classroom, you can have an instructor who will give you a lot of information, in which, if you understand it. It's very helpful, but if you're not understanding a lot of it and being able to keep up with class, you can always come to the tutoring lab and get some of the resources on the course. A lot of people come in from math, English, we have history, we have government, we have biology, we have physics, we have accounting, but the most popular. There are different ways to approach SQ3R, but one of them, we're going to break down SQ3R, and I'm going to start off with the scan, and really scan is just looking through the passage at the title, subtitles, and any bold words to understand the idea of what the passage is going to talk about, or the thesis of it, or the main idea of it. And then the second part of SQ3R is questions. And the main thing about questions is asking yourself who, when, where, what, and why it's happening or stuff like that. Well, the next portion is the reading. Um, while reading, you want to take notes and elaborate, you know, using your highlighter or whatever you use as far as charts, mind maps, timelines, outlines, um, whatever it takes for you to be able to memorize what you've just read. Um, the next portion is the recite and and reciting is pretty simple but it is a crucial part of the SQ3 and R. Um, it's pretty much asking what was this all about? 
what did you just go through? What did you just read? You know, pretty much finding, I guess, the main idea, the main topic of an assignment or whatever it is that you're reading uh, and try to explain the information, you know, without looking at notes or, you know, just because you actually going off of what you actually remember from reading, right? Another way to practice reciting is to use materials you produce um, as you read the chapter. Uh, like I said, uh, looking, taking notes, highlighting passages, underlying phrases like you did when you were reading, um, the maps, the flashcards, and um, you know, that's also another way you can use to re recite the material. Um, of the SQ3R is reviewing. After you have read the chapter, immediately go back and read it again. Ask yourself what you just have read. The best way to determine whether you have mastered the information is to once again survey the chapter, review, merging out notes and highlighted areas, and also vocabulary words. This step will help you store and change the